Hi everyone, welcome to day one of Vlogmas. This is Terry with Early Girls Yarn. I'm so happy you are here. Let's see, I can't decide. I think I'm gonna leave my glasses on today. Um, it is a snowy day, so I took some videos. It's only lunchtime here. I'm gonna record this. I think I'm gonna end early and just kind of share some of yesterday and some of today and keep going on with that so I can get my editing and everything done hypothetically when kids are at school before my husband comes home on normal work weeks. So thank you so much for stopping by. So here are some videos of yesterday. We set up our tree and boy did Izzy do a job this year. And then um, some from this morning and from church. And then I'll come back and we'll chat about Advents. <coughs> said, so be it unto me. And Mary surrendered. What was that song that we sang? He has good plans. He has good plans for me. In gardens and deserts, he has good plans. I am doing the Worthy is the Lamb Advent um, Bible study this year. I'm really excited about it. Today was more like a preparing day. Tomorrow, like the Monday through Friday, you do um, Bible study and you look up verses and then they have challenging questions. I don't know about challenging, but challenge questions, I should say, um, every day. So I'm really excited to dive into this. And then um, we started going to a new church. We've been there a few times. Izzy um, got in with a youth group at a different church, but we're just exploring new things. So we went to Brightmark Christian Church in Michigan this morning. We've been there before. I'm always like bawling during the singing. So I know that it's speaking to me. It seemed excited about it. C seemed to have stories about it. So I'm hopeful it's a fit for everyone. But they had a daily or a daily devotion on December through January. So I went up and grabbed that copy as well. And I've already read today's. So it's like half a page. It's not that hard at all. Um, hang on. I also had these little cards, which I think I wound up sharing on here um, each day. Yeah. So I'll just share the front part. It's like a little blurb. And if there's anything else I want to, I will. But this is today's worship Jesus, worship Jesus on both the good and the hard days in your need and in your abundance in times of rest and exhaustion. And then, of course, it goes into a little bit more in the back, but it also goes into even more in the, the book. What I thought um, there, there were four because, like, why do we worship? There were four because statements. Um, and I thought this one was kind of poignant because Jesus is the Lamb of God. We don't have to host the perfect Christmas parties, keep up with every family tradition, or go into debt buying presents. So I thought that was kind of hit, hit a little bit um, as I start this Advent season, just making sure I'm focusing on the right things. So that was helpful to me. I hope that was helpful to you as well. So I already opened up my Advents live on Instagram. So I'll share them here every day as well. Um, this is Sprinkled Fibers, and I also wanted to share some of the extras here. So this year it came with the Sprinkled Fibers Advent gingerbread candle that Lily, um, her younger sister, made. So good. I have not um, lit it yet, but that is on the list of fun things to do. It came with this super cute t-shirt that says, Sit, Knit, and Be Merry. Isn't that like 
Lindsay. I know she designs them, but that's just their vibe. So, so cute. I love that it's the mint green. I've not worn that yet, but my plan is to do that soon. There might have been, so full disclosure, I opened all the extras, so I don't always have all the extras. There might have been more that I'm missing, is my point. It also came with the free pattern of the shawl. This is Sprinkled Snowflake Shawl by Beth. By Beth McDonald Stone. Um, and Lindsay test knit it. So this picture is a test knit that she did. It's not her actual colors. Now this year I'm doing things differently. I am not using any of my advents. Um, I'm not using any of my advents for my yearly, um, on my advent knitting. I'll explain in a little bit what I'm doing for that. I'm just having joy opening them. And then when it's all said and done, I'll figure out what to do. So this was day one. Isn't that great? It so reminds me of the minis from the summer's beach collection, which I love. Um, so that's really fun. So I'm going to put this back. I might even find the bags and put it back in the bags. Now I'm looking around because I swear there was a main skein. It probably fell somewhere. Um, yeah, it did. I see it over there. It's back over on the corner because I open on the other side of the desk because the light is better there, but I record on this side. Oh, I guess I should show you. <clears throat> I guess I'll just go ahead and show you. Here's how it's packaged. It comes like that. And then there was a main skein, as I said, it's wrapped on the other side. And then here's the individual packages. So isn't that cute? So fun. So I will continue to share and then I will share a um, layout as time goes on of the colors. Okay, let me get the next one. So this is the Fiber Fox. This is, um, there, she's from England, I believe. So here's what her box looked like on the inside. I did opt, I don't know if it was extra or not, but I opted for a full skein because I like it when that's there. Um, and here's how they come wrapped. These cute little bags. And then she did have some extras, which I will show It's a progress keeper and then um, like one big progress keeper and then some stitch markers, which I think are super cute. And here is day one of this one. Love it just barely speckled. I know this is gonna be a fade. I think I have the project in mind that I wanna do with this, but I wanna wait till it's done to see and make sure that's what I'd like to do. It's a fun magnetic class, but you probably can't hear that, but I really love this packaging. I did get um, last year as well, and it had the same cool box with the clasp. So I'm so excited to see where this one goes. And last, but certainly not least, my Suburban Stitcher. This is Diane. This is her packaging. And let's see. I got the extras. And there's these two, you know, those fun, which I can't get them out because my cats eat, not eat them, but they hide them. But those fun little stitch marker or um, you put it on the end of your needles, the needle stoppers. There's a little progress keeper and some cute little blue stitch markers. And it also came with this bag. Let's see if I can hold it up close, which I think says Seaside Holiday. Oh, you know what else? It came with one other thing. Oh, here it is. This cute little ornament, little shell, holographic ornament. Love it. So I was so surprised by Diane's first color because I normally think of her as like even the pinks there was never like in your face pink it's like very muted colors for Diane usually day one bam I love it it reminds me of Izzy's bulldog blue color for her school it's got me so intrigued as to what the next days are going to look like so excited. So that is Diane's box. Two self-striping sock advents. Um, one of which is Kirby Worby. 
and then I got Freckled Whimsy. Freckled Whimsy is what I have cast on. It comes in 250 gram balls, so it perfectly matches. So I'm going to do that a little differently than Kirby Warby's. So um, I shared on Instagram the cuffs. I did not share, well, I, hadn't, I wasn't done with all of them. But here's my progress on the sock. What I'm deciding to do, I got both of them done. I'll share it a little closer so you can see it. What I am deciding to do is to knit 10 rows a day. I think I need 150 rows, I believe, with the way my foot is, plus two heels and two toes. So I'm going to do 10 rows a day, and then one heel one day, one heel another day, one toe one day, one toe another day, um, more than likely. It should also give me a few days of grace periods, just in case life gets busy. I just want to make sure that I've got... Um, I, want them, I want them done. I want to wear them on Christmas. So I want to make sure I have enough time for that to happen. So that's my all of my Advent progress. Um, actually, I think I am going to share Kirby Werbys because it didn't come hidden. So if you opened your bag already, you would have seen this the way it came. So I'm not like I'm not giving away any secrets. Um, so this is Kirby Werbys. Hers was based on um, movies. Let's see, I haven't even read it. Okay, yep, she's got 24 movies, all classic Christmas movies. Maybe I'll even see if we can get these all watched with the girls. So the first one, mine starts with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, everyone starts at a different place. But here is the skein. I have feel good showing it because, as I said, it didn't come like in a hidden bag. It just came in a clear cell phone bag. So anybody who received it would see this. So that is that. Um, I have her 23, her advent from 23, which was the friend's advent. That is wound up. So that for sure, I am going to be casting on at some point in the near future. And that one I'm just gonna burn through because I have got quite the list of sock yarn. If you wanna go and see my last podcast, I shared all my plans. Um, okay, so. I'm actually wearing one of the FOs, so I'm not going to take them off because they're on my cozy toesies. Um, but I did get my Dunder Knit. I can share the yarn here. Maybe I'll pop a picture of the finished socks. My Dunder Knit socks, my Thanksgiving socks done. So that is that yarn. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to actually pull these out because I want to weigh them, get them in the right places so they're ready to go. So I got that done. Um, this is my Freckled Whimsy. This is the Friends Advent that I said I was wound up but not cast on. And actually, the needles, see if the needle is still here. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to take this needle, pop it in here, and I'm going to cast on that ribbing today so that that has started the other sock whip i want to check in with you on this was supposed to be my goal is to have this done for thanksgiving this is just the first leg because i got sidetracked in such a major way um i also didn't have my yarn to do my heel but i'm gonna grab that and work on that in the next couple days this is for izzy i don't know if i'm gonna give it to her now or in college but this is an izzy sock one of the things that got me sidetracked was, well, actually two things. First of all, I really went to town on the Cozy Memories blanket with the socks, the sock yarn. I am so, I was just so excited about that. I'm on my third row, crazy. Um, so that has got me a little sidetracked. And then I also decided last minute that I wanted to do the Andrea, Andrea Maori Oxbow Sock Challenge. Let's see if I can find, I don't think my printer printed out. I guess it did print out a picture, but not even a good one. It doesn't like pictures for whatever reason, but here's the Oxbow Socks. It's Andrea Maori's pattern. Um, well, I'll show you. So I cast on my long dog yarn. This is from her monthly club, her sock set club. This was April's Shiprock was the one that this was um, dyed after. And here, it, I'll do the side so you can see better. Here's the sock. 
So it's only three inches up here before you start the foot. <clears throat> it had a fun pattern and the heel is a heel flap and gusset, but it's done in pattern. So it's not like double reinforced. It fit fine. I was still also able to add more rows. So I had more room for my instep, which I needed and I really liked. So this is the first one. Now there's a challenge to get it done by Monday at noon. So I've got that, but I only have this started. I only have the ribbing done on the second. So I got my sock advent knitting done. And then I'm just going to focus on this. I have two other advent projects that I'm going to be working on, but I'm not stressing myself out at all this year about advent or about making sure I get a major project done. I'm going to fully enjoy my time. And if that means finishing up projects, or if that means working only on socks, or I wound up my yarn, my first skein of yarn is wound up for my um, Christmas sweater I wanna cast on. I'm just gonna let it be good. Whatever I choose to do, it's gonna be good. Um, okay, so I should also share, I'm always remiss to share what I'm wearing. I am wearing the speckled sweater by Casapinka, and then today for church, I had on this shawl, which is an Amba O'Brien. I think it's the adventure shawl. It's where you knit like two separate triangles. I think I actually attached it incorrectly, but I love it, so I just let it roll. So it's gotten cold here, like 20s, hmm, 27, I want to say. I don't know, it was freezing this morning. Um, and now I'm not going to be able to fashion it very well. There we go. So I have been throwing on layers because I haven't gotten my coat out yet to actually admit that the cold is here. So I wore this today to church and then I've got my awesome socks on um, from Tiny Human Knits, my Thanksgiving socks, and it went so well today. So love it. I don't love, sometimes this pooling makes me feel like I've got, you know, sweaty armpits, but it's just the pooling. That's not what's happening. <laughs> so I'm going to take this back off. It's just another idea if you have don't have your project honed in on what you want to do for Advent. So I'm going to share, I actually have two other Amba projects that I started, and this is what I'm going to be working on when I want a bigger project. So this is my Radvent cowl. I have my notes and my pen still. So here is the Radvent cowl. We were working on this in um, Florida this summer. So I'm not sure, I don't even know what color I'm on. I'll have to look back later. I think I'm only on day two or three. Um, but here's just the beginning. I mean, I'm at the very beginning. So that's what I'll be picking up. If I was gonna guess, I'll have to look. I think I'm on day, I'll have to look. I have all kinds of notes written out. I just need to dig back in and really look at it because I have not done that yet. So that's what I have. That's what I'm gonna be picking up. I don't know that I'll do that today because as I said, I'm on that Oxpo challenge to get that done. Oh, I didn't even share it, I should have. This is an older advent. I don't even know what years it's from. Um, I dyed the mohair, so I'm using this like really soft mo pink, um, but it's like a neutral pink. It's not like a pale pink at all to go with it. And then here's the colors of the advent. And this was all done. Um, it was old. Well, right now I'll just her. I, I think it was old wire road but now it's spur creek farm my friend ashley i don't even know that she's dying but she is podcasting from time to time so this is her kit from years ago we were in iowa i want to say it's probably four to five years old so i'm so excited to finally get this made up um this kit has quite had quite the journey is he trying to snag it last year i ripped out because i started a blanket i just didn't like it she wasn't loving it i ripped it out and now it's going to be my sweater the other one i started I want to say I started it two years ago, and it was freckle, not freckle, um, sprinkled fibers advent from a few years ago. I don't exactly know when. It wasn't last year's. Could have been the year before. I'm not even sure where I'm at, so I absolutely 
need to number one, untangle it, and number two, really sit down and like count rows and figure out where I'm at with this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Clearly, I've not opened this up in such a long time, but this is super long. It's Amba's All Sorts. I think it's called All Sorts Cape. It's got a twist in it. I'll do that later. So here's the pattern. And it was so bad, I don't even, I had to reprint the pattern. So I have to really count and go back. I truly don't even know. I know, I believe you start with the main color and I know I'm done with the main color part. I know I did that. I maybe have done, I don't know. I need to go and count rows and figure it out. But that's my list today. Today I just wanna kind of figure out if I can or tomorrow where I'm at with the projects so that I know where I need to go. But anyway, I can't even show you. I don't even have it all wound up like my other one. It's just in a box. There's even like little pieces. I don't know. So here it is. This is what it looks like in the box. I don't have anything wound up. I've just barely started. Um, if I'm guessing, I'm on day two. If I'm, if I'm guessing just by looking, there looks to be one used ball. So I think I'm on day two. Crazy. So those are the two that I want to get figured out. And get cracking on so you can see just by that little bit that for me it's absolutely the right thing this year to have joy in opening up this year's advents but to work on those awesome projects from years past that I'm not that far on and to focus on my freckled whimsy yarn the other thing which I'll probably share in the next day or two I have decided to take on the challenge of state of the stash which is from Shauna Stitches. I'm so inspired by her and a couple other um, YouTubers that I know, Lisa from Knit All The Things is doing that as well in her own way. Everybody's kind of making it their own, which I love. Um, but they're counting how much yarn do you bring in in a month versus how much yarn do you like knit up and use in a month. Um, so I'm gonna start recording that. Now I'm sharing some yarn today, but in full disclosure, all of this came in earlier. I just haven't shared it at all yet. This will not be counted. It'll be things that come in, well, today's Sunday, so there's no yarn coming in today. But things that come in the month of December, I am going to be recording. And I'm doing that in my knitting notes book that I was, that I won a while back. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be recording it. And there's not going to be any judgment because it is okay. And really, it's just for me to start to have a way to see what's coming in versus what's coming out. Now, it's also giving me some good motivation to get like my Christmas sweater and some of those bigger advent projects tackled because that will be yarn out, which will help me in making this maybe break even. I, I don't think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be negative. I think I'm gonna bring more in than I knit out for December because I know that I've got some bigger orders coming in. Yeah from like that I ordered a month and a half ago or two months ago before I really even thought about this. And that's okay. So I'm just gonna be transparent. Um, that won't be up until January because it'll be starting December 1st. So that's coming up as well. <clears throat> All right, let's share what I have in front of me um, so I can get some things put away. We'll see what December holds, if I do any organization or if I wait for January to tackle that. This is funny, this is was in my bag. I think Izzy decided not to move forward with this, but this is one of her crochet things that just wasn't fitting right from back in the summer. I think she gave up on it and just tossed it in that box with that sweater I was working on. So I'll have to give that to her to see if she wants it or if she is just scrapping it. I don't really know what happened with that. Okay, so here are some things that I have that came in recently. This came in just a few days ago. Um, I ended up getting four minis, and I'm gonna add, they're sparkle minis. These are from Sp Sprinkled Fibers from Lindsay. Can you see the sparkle on them? Um, it was leftovers from the kit that she did for the Telly Beans cardigan. And she also sent this little stirring, hot cocoa stirring spoon. I'm gonna give it to Cece, because I think it'll be super cute. Um, so she had this kit and I wasn't able to grab the kit, but I'm like, oh, that's okay. I really just wanted to make socks with it. And she's like, oh, I've got a few left over. If you just want to do socks. I'm like, yes, which is only one skein. 
but the I'm gonna make socks to match my Christmas sweater so I'm so excited I've got some white sparkle yarn I'm gonna add to this and it's going to be so much fun so that got added to the list of December socks let me tell you that's an ever-growing list I'm not sure what's gonna get accomplished but I'm gonna have a lot of fun trying then yesterday was small business Saturday of course I got some things online which will be coming I'll share those when they come but Cece had a um, oh, well, like audition season's coming, so I, I'll say it's like, was it not like an audition prep thing that you can go and learn a dance at one of the um, places that does that? So she did that for two hours in Canton, and I went to Have You Any Wool in Michigan. They were having Knitterly Things, Vesper Sock Yarn there, who to my knowledge is the only self-striping dyer in Michigan, so you know I had to go get yarn, and I had never used their yarn before. So this is the Holly and the Ivy. I'm not sure I'm casting this one on this year, although I might, you never know what strikes my fancy. But if not, it'll be next year's Christmas. But then look at some of these colors. This was a new one for her. It's called First Frost. So excited for that one. Then I like this one. This one made me think of like, this is cozy season. This made me think of like retro, I don't even know, like snow lodge sweaters for some reason. I don't know if it's that orangey red color that's in there. I'm not sure. Liking that one. This one is Atmospheric Conditions. You know, I'm a sucker for that orange that's like my thing right now and this is bold and beautiful loving it so I'm excited I think of those five I'm not sure if it'll be in December probably more, more than likely in January but I think these two will be some of my January cast-ons um yeah so I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm actually going to be cutting today's um, video for Vlogmas. It's only like I probably one or two, not even two o'clock. It's probably one o'clock here on the first. I'm gonna be stopping it now. I'm still gonna record little snippets of our day and add to tomorrow um, because I wanna get it out. I wanna get it out and done. So yes, oh, uh, there was a giveaway from the last one. Not many people have seen or entered it because I published it right before Thanksgiving, but I'm okay with that because I just need to start publishing and start moving things along. Um, I'm giving away this skein from Murray and Co. Wool Goods. It's Don't Pinch Me. I've made socks out of this um, and I love them. And all you had to do was guess how, what the weight was on my magic knot ball. So I've not even weighed it yet. I'm gonna announce that tomorrow here on YouTube, but I will announce on Instagram later tonight when I get it done. So that's happening today too. So much going on. So I hope your day is starting great. I hope that you're getting some good knitting time, time with your family and time with the Lord. I will talk to you all soon.